in this episode of Ghost Watch. I felt, I felt a brush Where? on my back. Come closer. There's actually bone fragments in there. We are here at Mount Vernon. This place is no longer in operation, but a whole lot of bodies were cremated here for so many years, right? And we have Everly with us. Hi, I'm Everly, and this is my first time on Paranormal Investigation. Yep. She's got no idea what's in store for her, but we promise that we'll take good care of her. We're going to bring her around and hopefully we will be able to communicate with entities. At least one, we hope. At least one, yes. We shall screw up. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's go! If you want us to leave, please indicate by making a sound, a branch could fall, you could push something over, or you could just scream out loud and the cameraman would be able to hear you. If you want us to leave, please do it now. I felt something touch me behind. Really? Yeah. Hmm, what's that? Your way to tell us that we should leave? After Desmond felt something touch him, two anomalies are captured by our camera. Can you spot them? I felt something touch me behind. Really? Yeah. The first one falls from the top, and the second enters from the right side of the screen. Right, Desmond? Mm, yes, I'm okay. Yes. This is going to take one quick photo. I felt, I felt a brush Where? on my back. On your back? Yes. A brush. A wow. brush. Not even a tap. Yes. Just a brush. Brush. Can I have one of you to tell me your name? The cameraman can hear you. If not, can you tell me your age? Just your age. If you like this song, if you like this song, then I'm gonna sing we can touch the K2 meter, okay? K2 meter is right here. You can touch it or you can give us a sound or a sign. Okay, here I go. 
You guys, this is fucking freaky. It's a pigeon without a head. Oh my god, why? What happened? Something happened here though. This is something I don't understand. There are pigeons everywhere, right? Mm -hmm. And then here is a dead pigeon minus a head. We had to be extra careful to not step on offerings we came across at Mount Vernon. To emphasize this fact, a voice is heard as we pass one such food offering. In our everyday life, it's easy to get caught up with all the technological gadgets that we have, like our phones, our tablets, we're always looking at it when we walk everywhere. But it's very important, especially during the Hungry Coast Month, to be aware of your surroundings because there are so many religious offerings everywhere. If you accidentally step on one or knock it over, don't panic, it's okay. All you have to do is put everything back in place and apologise. where the coffin would be placed oh. all right and then once uh, the service is over yeah. the coffin is brought into the area the back of the curtains and then it's led into the furnace i know this is your resting place but um, a lot of viewers have been asking us to come here uh, and it took me a long while because of personal reasons but anyway we are here if you're an entity that would like to make contact with us, I would like you to touch the K2 meter that's in my hand. This young lady next to me has never seen a ghost, has never had a paranormal encounter, right? Maybe today would be her unlucky day where she either see something she feels maybe she would hear you or maybe you would touch her here's another way for you to communicate with us you didn't want to use the k2 meter that's freaking fine now you can just talk what is your name Once again, what is your name? Okay, okay. Yeah. Hear... Mm. What do you hear? That's a guy's voice. Yeah, but do you hear what he said? I, I didn't I hear didn't yeah. it was very fast. With luck on our side, we found an open door that led us to the cremator. That's the view 
Just when I said that, an anomaly is seen. Within minutes, another anomaly is seen. You know, I had this crazy idea once uh, that was to go to Thailand, and I won't mention the sponsor's name, but the sponsor agreed to this. You know, I had this crazy idea once uh, that was to go to Thailand, and I won't mention the sponsor's name, but the sponsor agreed to this. I wanted to go to this, uh, this crematorium in Thailand and then climb into the furnace and, and be in there with uh, two cameras, one in the front, one in the back, and uh, I would want to see whether I can communicate with, with an entity. And lucky I didn't do it because there's always that fear that the furnace will be turned on. Oh. Yeah. Mm. And looking at this place today, I, I won't do it. Okay, but maybe you could make an appearance through this opening. I don't know why this furnace is open, this one isn't. Mm. Um, you could make an, an appearance here. Or you could touch one of us. Let us know that we are not alone. There's actually bone fragments in there. There is. Oh, there. There is. Oh, yeah. oh, actually, it's off bones. Though we advise against picking up objects in a ghost hunt, I felt that holding a piece of human bone would allow us to interact with an entity. Bro, do you think I should put my hand in there and remove a piece of bone? Why not? You're supposed to say no. Yeah. Supposed to keep him safe, you know. He's supposed to keep me safe. <laughs> if he's not safe, you're not safe. Gosh. This is a bone. Half bone bone. This is somebody's bone, right? Uh, it's a piece. 
tiny little piece that's mowing there. My question is, it's why uh, remain still in the furnace? I, that I don't understand. You guys have no idea how nervous I am. I'm holding I know. a piece of human bone and I have no idea who this belongs to. All I know is that it should not be here. One more anomaly makes an appearance. Could this bone fragment belong to this entity? Come closer. Come closer. I need you to I need to know if you want me to put the bone back. Let me know now. What I do know is that I'm not disrespecting anybody and just pointing out the obvious fact that somebody's uh, bone is still in the freaking furnace. That's not right. Could you please come closer? What happened next shocked all of us. Without a shadow of a doubt, whistling was heard. It didn't just come from inside the building, it was right next to us. Do you hear that? Hmm. I hear. Oh. Okay. I hear. Oh. Okay. I hear. Oh. Okay. Did you just whistle? Yeah, I, I heard whistle. <laughs> hmm? I heard somebody whistle. Oh, it's not you? No, no of course no, not. What do you mean? I heard whistle. Okay, I heard whistle. Guys, do you mind if I put this back in? Yes, please. Yeah. You hear the whistle? Yeah. Yeah, I do. The whistle sounds human, right? Mm -hmm. Are you ready to get out of here? Yeah. Let's get out of here. Okay, this way, this way. Yes. Yeah.